everybody. Hello. Aloha and welcome to um, The Download. I'm Andy Pergam. It is uh, Monday, April 2nd, and thank goodness, office pranksters, that April Fool's Day fell on a Sunday this year. Whew. Everyone uh, was too forgetful to remember that it was coming up and then too lazy to pull off anything really good, except for... Ah, the children. It warms my heart to see them carrying the tradition on. Here's the story. This family's matriarch was born on April 1st, a bunch of years ago. So for her birthday, the kids always try to top each other. Well, this year it was a granddaughter who convinced her high school marching band to serve as an 8 a.m. wake-up call. Come on, you could have given her a heart attack. Well, at least some kids are keeping the, uh, the family going. All right, then. Enough with the pomp and the circumstance. Let's go ahead and trot out the big deal in our own poppy sort of way. So they were chanting and shouting in the streets of Iraq. What was it this time? American oppression? Heathens? Come on. No, it was Arab Idol. Yes, an uber popular show. And 25-year-old Shada Hassoun was crowned the winner and then promptly tackled. Uh, yes, that's enough to uh, spark a riot right there. Now, you see, this is why we're fighting. Why we want to make a difference to spread to a region that has sorely lacked one thing, commercialism. Yes, now it's better. Uh, the title of her winning song, loosely translated, by the way, My Hair is Better Than Sanjaya's. All right, then. I was told that if you understand American Idol, you will understand that reference. So, from Arab Idol to famous child stars falling from grace, this is your Hollywood lowdown. So remember, uh, after Alex P. Keaton left the house, uh, this uh, little five-year-old kid just showed up at the, uh, you know, family ties. Well, uh, at least that's how it worked in my head. I don't know. His name was Andy Keaton, and here he is today. Brian Bonsall was arrested in Boulder on domestic violence charges. He'll be formally charged tomorrow. Cops say he was involved in a fight with his girlfriend and allegedly put her in a chokehold. Uh, uh, he claims uh, she cut him with a steak knife. She claims he was never very talented. And look, are those fangs, by the way? Look at that. Or piercings? I don't know. Who knew that Tina Yothers would be the sane one? All right, then. To your hot clicks. Oh, Tina Yothers. I had a big crush on her. Anyway, those irresistible headlines and video clips, which you'll just find right here. So, if you're like me and you have some sort of Blackberry thumb, then this is the competition for you. It was the first text messaging competition. Contestants competed by texting phrases displayed on a screen fastest. Uh, of course, text shorthand was not allowed, LOL. Uh, the winner won 10 Gs and hopefully a new piece of equipment. All right. Now, I'm still hoping that this is a publicity stunt. You know this guy, Bello the Clown, there with the Sanjaya's next hairstyle. Uh, anyway, lost his mini bike. Uh, he had a mini bike that he can ride around. It's less than a foot tall. He manages to ride it and not get anything caught in the chain, which is amazing. Anyway, he lost it. A guy found it outside a restaurant, and it was reunited with its proper owner. The guy who found it won a thousand bucks and a new full-size bike, and the circus got themselves on TV, and we didn't even see the bike. What can you do? Anyway, it's, uh, it's Monday, uh, so yeah, here we go. Drop a line anytime, Andy at the downloadshow.com. That's Andy at the downloadshow.com. We leave you now with our parting shot. How many people can fit into one of those old-fashioned British phone boots? Well, the record had been 12, then 14. Now, before you sickos get too far here, hello? Uh, the record's been broken, this time by 16 Scottish girls. Now, they're young, so no uh, jokes, please, about uh, 16 Scottish girls in a phone booth. Anyway, uh, do you know how hard it is to find a working phone booth? By the way, here they are hogging it. God, children. All right, we're out of here. We will see you uh, tomorrow for more fun and frivolity right here on The Download. Bye now.